of the Islanders. A terrific game in Detroit on Sunday night. And Brian, you were here the other night when St. Louis yeah. beat Columbus and played very well. Rick DiPietro, how he about those orange pads? Oh. You know what? I, I think they suit his personality, and, and, and I think that's a great thing. I mean, he's a very outgoing guy. He's talking all the time. I think those pads and those gloves and everything in bright, bright orange just suits him. It's good for him. It looked great. Weinrich, who last played with Philadelphia. Penalty upcoming. Wrap around by York. He's stopped by Lalim. Puck still loose. York scores! On a delayed penalty, Mike York found the puck on a big scramble out front. York, who scored the game winner Sunday night in Detroit, puts the Islanders into the lead. I think the St. Louis Blues let off the gas pedal a little bit here. Eric Weinrich is going to get a penalty in the far corner, and the Blues congested things up in front, but they didn't finish any checks. I think they were all just waiting for the whistle to blow. As soon as a blue jerseyed man touched the puck, there would have been. And Campoli. Martinez. Back to Campoli. Quick shot. Deflection score! Mike York with his second of the game. A power play goal. The Islanders lead 2 to nothing. What Steve Sterling was talking about this morning about getting his defenseman to keep it simple. The other part of that is because he sees most of the goals being scored in front of the net on deflections and rebounds. And this one is number 16, Mike York, who is in good position along with Trent Hunter. There were two guys. Trent Hunter is number seven, that big white backside you see in front of Patrick Laleem. He's joined by Parrish, two on one against Weinrich. York, pass through, score! Mark Parrish! A great rush up the ice, and the Islanders lead it three to nothing. What a start for the Islanders. And Mike York is in on this one. Mike York did all the leg work. The St. Louis Blues pressed up, and they got four guys caught. And it was Mike York. He was pushing hard. He looked tired on the play, but when he held up and made the pass across the parish, it was perfect. Brian Brett forward, Dallas Drake. So Drake is without a stick. Jitnik moves it to Yashin. Now to Zitnik, back to Yashin, one-timer, say, scores! It went in off Laleem. A power play goal for Alexei Yashin. And the Islanders' lead is 4-2. to two. Really smart hockey by the New York Islanders. When the defenseman of the St. Louis Blues had a broken stick, Salvador, Dallas Drake had to give him a stick. So what do you do? You work the guy with no stick. See number 10 flopping back and forth? It gave Zitnik and Yashin more time and will be announced. York, oh. nice lead. Here's Jason Blake to the net. He scores! Jason Blake makes it 5-2, to two, and Mike York has himself a four-point game for the Islanders. Uh, just a terrific heads-up play by Mike York, who can do no wrong. Jason Blake, on a sort of a broken play along the boards, catches both St. Louis defensemen standing up in the New York Islander zone. And there's the pass. And Blake just has to calmly set it down, figure out where he wants to shoot. That was... There's great. Aaron Asham with Shatan to his right. He, Asham shoots oh. and scores! Aaron Asham with a beautiful wrist shot over Curtis Sanford, the Islanders' third power play goal of the game. They lead it 6-2. to two. That is a precision shot. That looks like a 50-goal score. Real nice hands on the quick wrist shot there on the fly, and Sanford is going down. As he is going down, the puck is going up. It beats him on the short side. You could see Aaron Asham take a look. He decided which corner he wanted to go through. And Sanford gets an arm on it. That two goals scored okay. on the power play for the Blues in the second period. The Pietro was really good. He read the play really well. Made a lot of saves. Looked really easy. They weren't. Four straight wins for the Islanders on the road for the first time since 2001. The Islanders beat the Blues 6-3. to three.